that's good. <laughs> yeah, this guy had a seizure and he crashed his car like in Chipotle. Like, the like, one here? In Chipotle. Yeah. I didn't know it was temporary. Like, I gotta sh- We're at Chipotle. The burritos! <laughs> Coffee. I feel like we're supposed to say something meaningful. When in doubt. <laughs> Don't say it. Kiss a tree. <laughs> Would you like to say something meaningful? I really have to pee. <laughs> We're obviously really good at this whole advice thing, right? But I want to hear from other people at MPA. Oh, come on. What? Okay, Mr. Jameson, what has caused you to stay at NPA over the years? So, besides the fact that my wife said I have to have a job. Uh, I've stayed over the years because this is a super awesome place to work. Money. I really love working with the eighth graders, just watching them grow through academics, social, emotional. Yeah, I love the yeah the ability to know everyone uh, and to have colleagues that are super fun to work with. I think that doing a job that you love and getting paid for it is a win-win situation. What impact are you most passionate about leaving on students? Take two. I'll take one. Thank you. I think I'm most interested in having students uh, come away with the feeling that they can be successful and that success doesn't always mean the same thing for everyone. I love forcing children to play my favorite board game. I guess I would really want to see them develop that persistence, grit, that passion and confidence to pursue whatever they want to do. The amount of animosity and anger that are propagated throughout the grade, and then continue for years. I like that. <laughs> Literally, I still don't trust Jack. It's just to feel comfortable, be able to come to me um, with, with any concerns, questions. Oh, that's such a good question. You know, for, for me, truly, it's to see my students turn into critical thinkers. To be those critical thinkers that will really question the world, not just take it at face value. Wow, what a beautiful day. Evidence you have to prove it is a beautiful day. Is that an objective or subjective statement? How do you know you're biased? Are you biased? Is there evidence? any credibility to this? Okay. How do you know? Like, do you know what you're doing? They are ready for the world. If you could pick just one, what would be your absolute favorite thing about MPA's culture? This is the culture <laughs> that I'm here for. Is people being able to be who they are and teach in the ways and make the connections in the ways that they are best able to. And there's a line in our vision statement, joyful curiosity, that I absolutely love. Um, it's definitely changed over the years, but I think just the camaraderie between the grades is really fun to watch. I feel like NPA is one of the few places where it's cool to be a nerd. And I've actually heard like kids come in and say like nerd and then everyone laughs. Like it's it's a compliment and not an insult. your favorite rite of passage or tradition in PA? Something that I love that I really want to bring back is the puzzle. I love words of wisdom. Well, back in my day, <laughs> oh my God. we had the senior triangle. So I would say, sucks to suck, class of 2022. For me, that one's pretty easy. I love graduation. Surviving Lancaster's English class. All right, so what is one thing you wish you could bring back from NPA's culture pre-COVID? The attitude of we are all in this together. Live talent show. I think we need to go back and honor the students that have joined the military. Now, I know Mr. Jamison is in this audience, and he's also going to agree. We need to bring back khakis and polos for everyone. <laughs> khakis and polos. <laughs> khakis and polos, I suffered and so should you. And finally, how could NPA admin, teachers, and students begin to work towards improving and uniting the culture at NPA again? As a community, we need to decide on our expectations and we need to approach those consistently. If we want this to be a nice place where people treat each other with respect, it's as much on you guys as students to hold each other accountable as it is on us to also hold students accountable. So I think first defining who we are and uh, instilling a sense of pride in who we are, 
meaningful on-campus and off-campus community services. If we just got outside of our own boxes and outside of our own vision and really started looking out for a community instead of individuals, that would, extreme, that would help a lot. What was the point to this video? Well, in the end, we wanted to bring to light a lot of the great things that people love about MPA, the reasons people stay, reasons we stayed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's changed a lot, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's, not, it's not exactly the same school, but that doesn't have to be a bad thing. So many people lost so many things over COVID, and so we just have to re start rebuilding a new culture. So how can we take all the things we've loved about MPA as an NPA family, and then we can take where we're at now, yeah, move forward. That's good, let's do that, let's do it, and cut.